Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, guys? Mike here, Owens Pressure Washing. So, today we uh, are doing this uh, barrel tile roof. And as you can see by the clouds, the storm's coming. So, you know, don't mind the, uh, the camera. I, I'll hold it steady a little better as we go, but I'm in a rush. So, um, believe it or not, I sprayed this entire... 3,000 square foot barrel tile roof in 30 minutes and that's including like all the coats so sometimes with barrel tile especially if the sun's not out you kind of have to hit it um, and after five ten minutes you're gonna still have some black stains this roof was really dirty I uh, I put the before and after picture up on uh, my page, but um, yeah, it was just really dirty. So, you know, I coated it once and it just wasn't enough. So I had to go back. I probably coated it two in some areas, three times. Um, but basically I had uh, Anthony working with me today. Um, he's down there. This is a two story roof, but he's down, he's down on the bottom rinsing uh, this rain. Uh, at this time, you know, I'm thinking the rain's going to literally happen any second. The wind was blowing extremely hard. So in the, uh, in the, in the wand, I have a 40 degree spray tip and I'm holding it very close to the tiles because of the wind. Um, I mean, you can see the spray pattern sometimes just blow like it was just hard to control. So, you know, we ended up getting it done. And I sprayed this entire roof in 30 minutes. And then as we get closer, you'll see how I hit. There's like the single story sections of this roof. I hit from the second story because I didn't want to climb down the ladder. I just hate climbing up and down second story roofs. Like getting on and getting off is the most difficult part. And once you're up there, you know, I just want to finish that top. Uh, story when I was up there so I actually reach over and spray the first story but I just figured instead of making this a time lapse um, I'd just do a voiceover share some tips um, I did bag the downspouts on this one because there was gutters and I knew that I was going to be spraying so you know I was just spraying a lot um, this is a seven gallon per minute 12 volt so, I mean, I didn't get crazy amount to run off, but I got run off. And there was gutter, so I was okay. Um, but you can see it's cleaning up nice. You can see how at the bottom of the edge it's much cleaner. It's because I hit that. I went around and hit all the edges first. And that's just because it's just something I like to do. Um, another reason is because, you know, the edges of the tiles, like the faces of the tile that... Um, the ridges, the ends, you know, not the top, the sides. You know, there's all different names for it. I like to hit those first and real well because that's what um, the customer sees and it's the most difficult part to get with these barrel tiles. So I like to hit them first, hit them good, and let the solution clean up while I'm there so I know what I need to touch up before I leave. This way, you know, you don't get down thinking you're done and then when you get on the ground you see the, you know, the stains and on a single story roof it's no problem because you can just you can hit the edges from the ground you know with a two story I mean I guess I could but it's just better to be up there hitting them so I'm hitting it from all angles hitting it over and over again and uh, this thing came out really good I uh, I was able so I finished this it was a 3,000 square foot barrel tile roof and I finished it in finished spraying it in 30 minutes and while I was spraying I had Anthony going around the house keeping all the things wet and I got down rinsed out the 12 volt rolled up and uh, Anthony just kept rinsing until you know the ladder was put away and everything else and we rolled out we were probably there I don't know it was less than an hour total but I sprayed this roof in 30 minutes um, so yeah 
it was funny. I posted this on a page. I'm not going to name the page. It wasn't Team Wash Life. Team Wash Life's awesome. And that's why I like it so much because everybody gets along. They bring each other up. And I never uh, try to sound like I know everything. You know, I'm always open for criticism, constructive criticism. But that's the thing. It's got to be constructive criticism. So this other group I was in, like I said, I'm not going to name names. I posted a video, and right away, someone comments, oh, that, that is so unsafe. So I'm like, oh, here we go. So, um, long story short, you know, I, I'm not going to get mad at them. I'm not going to start no trouble, you know, online, first of all. So I just say, you know, like, what did you expect me to do? And he, then he goes to tell me, why didn't you spray it from the ground? Um, then he says, why didn't you spray it from the ladder? Uh, you know, this and that. And, and at this point, like, I'm just like, he doesn't deserve my explanation. Like, if he wants to ask for help, that's fine. And I can just tell this, this whoever it was, this kid, he probably never cleaned a roof in his life, let alone a barrel tile. And... So anyway, I'm just not going to argue with him. And then he says something, oh, did you downstream it? Then he says I'm wearing loafers and tells me I need to get a longer ladder. And it was just, it's just funny, man, because, you know, these groups are here to help people. And I'm not saying that my way is the only way or it's the only, you know, it's the, it's the correct and it's the only way to get it done. No, I'm always willing to hear feedback and you know, there's roofs you guys know that I do from the ladder. And I just wasn't going to shoot chemical from the ladder with wind blowing as hard as it was. So, you know, anyway, I got it. You know, I got the job done quickly, efficiently, safely. You know, and he's making fun of where my, my shoes saying I'm wearing loafers. And it was just crazy telling me uh, pretty much. I, he pretty much said, uh downstream it i'm like this kid you know it's just funny so i'm all about helping people and you know i don't i don't think you'll ever catch me putting somebody down even when they do talk crap like i don't i don't engage in arguments i might say you know i might say what's on my mind but i'll never put somebody down purposely anyway i joke around a lot but you know it's just funny you know that's why i like team wash like so much it's just because everybody looks out for each other, um, the new people know they can ask questions without getting ridiculed, and, uh, you know, just a lot of, a lot of people, uh, from all over the country, uh, showing what they, their work, you know, and that's, that's what I do, I like to show my work because I like to watch other people's work, you know, there's plenty of people in the groups that post videos and, go live and it's just enjoyable to watch that so that's what I'm doing so you know you know and, and in the past people try to put me down but I'm not gonna let it happen because at the end of the day um, I'm doing what I love and I'm able to support my family from this business alone so and I'm doing better than I've ever done in my life so uh, you know I'm just saying this for people that maybe getting put down here and there on Facebook or groups, just, you know, don't let it get to you. It's, uh, it's people who talk crap online just aren't, they're usually just self-conscious and they're the ones sitting home all day while everyone else is out working. So this is one of the, the bottom parts of the roofs that I'm spraying from the top. I don't normally do this. Like I said, I was concerned about the rain coming, so wanted to make sure I hit everything and wanted to make sure while the some of this roof that I'm standing on the second story is dwelling I wanted to go ahead and make sure I start hitting the bottom roof so you know just figured why not um, oh also guys I wanted to bring up I uh, I'm gonna be raising the price on that document I know I've said it before but um, today's uh, the 14th I'm gonna on the 20th it's the price is going up I have to a lot of people have been uh, a lot more people have been interested than I thought and it's I've been selling a lot of them like a good amount and it's just a lot of info and sensitive information that I you know worked hard on so 
Uh, I'll put my email in the link below if you're interested. Email me now before the price goes up, and we'll get you taken care of. But this was just a 50-50 mix sprayed on the roof, uh, surfactant, and yeah, so that's the uh, that's the after picture. So it came out really well, and uh, yeah. I think I put the before picture or video on like this, but I must not have. Maybe it's going to come on after this. What I'm doing right now is a voiceover, so I just pretty much uploaded the video already, and now I'm doing a voiceover. Um, but yeah, so the, the bags or the gutters got bagged at the downspouts, and then I rinsed the gutters off, and the rain came, so I didn't have to worry about anything else. It got rinsed really well. So I'll put my email below, guys. Make sure you like, comment below, ask questions, uh, subscribe, share the video. I, I appreciate all the support, guys. Take care.